Before we get started, I just want to say this list is subjective and is based off my own personal experience while playing the strongest battlegrounds. I guarantee you'll disagree with some of my rankings, and that's all right. Feel free to tell me what you disagree with in the comments, and I'll also be assuming that you have at least bare bone knowledge on what each ultimate move does. But with that being said, let's get started. I hate to put flame wave cannon in this low, but it's just so easy to dodge. And if it is dodged, you get M1 punish, which means your opponent can do literally anything to you. That, plus the fact that if it lands, it ends your combo for a relatively small 35% damage, is why this move is so low on the list. It can also be death countered. This move is great. Problem is, omnidirectional punch is better in pretty much every way. Comes out faster, easier to land, but I guess serious punch is better at AoE damage. However, if you're 1 v one in someone, AoE damage doesn't really matter at all. If omnidirectional punch wasn't a thing, serious punch would be a lot higher up. Carnage is just an alright move. It does its job as a combo extender, but with a measly 18% damage, it's really nothing special. It's a long 25 second cooldown does not help it at all either. It can be cancelled until you are in the air. You can try to use this move on neutral to start a combo, but it's extremely unreliable, and it can be death countered. Rock Splitting Fist has great damage. It can be used as a combo breaker thanks to the iframes. But if you miss the move, then the iframes disappear. There's no way to true combo anything off this move, making it a combo ender. But it still has a great 38% damage. The main problem with this move is that good players will run from your alt, making Rock Splitting Fist only usable if you manage to catch them. Which if they're good, that will almost never happen. It can be countered and death countered. Table flip is easy to escape if the player knows what they're doing. Okay, side dashing, then forward dashing. But even if they escape table flip, you still get 21% free damage from the knockback. Plus, no ragdoll is needed to land this move, so you can use this even if they still have ragdoll cancel. Against good players, you should pretty much never use this move, but it is really good against less experienced players. Incinerate is pretty great. First off, if you use at point blank range, then it's relatively easy to dodge. However, if you land it at point blank range, then you do around 83% of their HP. 83%! You can also use it with speed blitz dropkick or just at a distance for 30% free damage. And it's difficult to consistently punish this move unless they have a barrage slash multi hit. And it can unfortunately be death countered. Straight on is just a really nice combo starter. It can, however, be blocked, which does remove its stun, but even if blocked, you still get the 30% free damage. Also, if it's blocked, it can be punished, but unless the player practices how to punish this move, it is extremely difficult to punish. You can use this move again while it's active to use the ending slash early. Plus, this move goes an insane amount of distance, which means you can stall while using this move. It can be cancelled and death countered. Strength difference does an amazing 65% damage, but they have to have already used their evasive for you to be able to land this move. It also does have iframes, and honestly, the reason this move is so low is just because its hitbox is so inconsistent. But look at this. I was directly on top of my all, and it just misses. I don't know, man. If the hitbox was not really bad, it would be a lot higher up. Once you land this move, it goes on permanent cooldown, and it can be death countered. Fourfold Flash Strike is a respectable 35% damage, but you can't combo extend off of it. I mean, seriously, you can't even get an M1. However, you can substitute the M1 for Twin Blade Rush, but Twin Blade Rush is already so easy to land, and let me stop myself there, I'm not even at that move yet. Anyways, Fourfold Flash Strike has a long windup, and if missed, has a lot of in lag. The thing saving Fourfold Flash Strike from being garbage is its massive hitbox. Because of its massive hitbox, it's hard to miss. However, if you do miss it, you will most likely get comboed. There's also iframes on the beginning of this move, so you can use it as a combo breaker, and it can be death countered. The first part of this move is easy to dodge, and weirdly does less damage if the opponent is on the ground. Yeah, I don't know either. But it does have a variant if missed, and the variant is, well, amazing. It's a massive AoE combo starter. However, it can be cancelled if hit, and if the move's cancelled, you'll let out a small AoE that knocks people back. Also, if hit with a grab or ragdoll move, then the small knockback won't work. And if the small AoE happens, you take whatever damage the move that cancelled it does. So in other words, there's no iframes on cancel. The reason that this move is ranked kind to high up is because it guarantees damage. They have to attack you where the main explosion happens, and unless they have a mobility move, they'll struggle to dodge it. But if they attack you, you get 30% damage for free. The first kick of this move can be countered, and the entire move can be death countered. 
This move does a fantastic 26% damage while also being a combo extender. Not even mentioning its 8 second cooldown, this move is so damn good. It can, however, be cancelled if you don't hit someone with it. It also weirdly true combos into final hunt. And that sounds amazing, right? But the problem is, good players will run from your all, making water stream rock smashing into final hunt only usable if you manage to catch them. Which, if they're good, that will pretty much never happen. This move also keeps people ragdolled, so that's fun. It can be countered and death countered. I mean, directional punch is awesome. If the opponent doesn't have ragdoll cancel, they die. You can use it at distance to heal. It's not really useful, but worth noting. It does about 30% damage, and you heal about 30% of your HP if it lands at a distance. Overall, great move. Brutal Beatdown does 50% damage in total, and it can be Ragdoll cancelled. This move pretty much has to be used in a combo, or it's easily avoidable. Even if you use it at point blank range, right next to someone, it can still barely be avoided. The reason this is so high on the list is because of its synergy with Savage Tornado. Use Tornado to confirm Beatdown, then use Beatdown to confirm Tornado. If it didn't have this synergy, it would be a pretty bad move. It also has a startup, which can be cancelled, it can be death countered. Speed Blitz Dropkick carries Genosis Ultimate Kit. Combos off in one, hits through death counter, and death blow. It's also a 49% damage combo extender. Plus, you have full immunity while using it. And I mean full immunity. You cannot be hit by Final Hunt, nor any Saitama alt move. I believe this is a bug because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, seriously. You can just dash through table flip, serious punch, and omnidirectional punch. Overall, a fantastic move. This move also does less damage if it's used while the opponent is ragdoll. I honestly don't know why. It's super weird, but yeah. That's a thing. Crushed Rock is an amazing combo starter. Long dash distance. An extremely short 9 second cooldown. But the only reason this isn't higher up is because if you're fighting someone that has a counter, then you pretty much only have 3 alt moves. As if you try to use this move, you just get countered for free. I really wish this move couldn't get countered, but it is what it is. By the way, 2 of the 6 existing characters have counters in their base kit. However though, if you are fighting someone who doesn't have a counter, then this move is one of the best moves in the entire game. It deals a respectable 26% damage while ragdolling the opponent right in front of you. Effectively forcing them to ragdoll cancel. And if they don't, then they eat final hunt or any other of your moves. It can also be canceled and death countered. Death Blow makes attacking Metal Bat while this move is off cooldown extremely risky as if you hit Metal Bat during its counter frames, you die. It can be used during Savage Tornado and Brutal Beatdown Startup, and it can also be used as a combo starter as even if your opponent doesn't hit the counter, you'll just instead slam the ground dealing 45-5% to damage. The damage depends on how far away your opponent is from you. The slam also ragdolls, which allows Savage Tornado and Strength Difference to be true confirmed. It is such a great move. If you're far from Metal Bat and hit his counter, then he'll just slam the ground instead of killing it cannot be death countered. Final Hunt is an amazing 68% damage move. It can be true comboed after using Water Stream Rock Smashing, even if they ragdoll cancel. It can also be used to interrupt other moves, such as Incinerate. It hits through Death Counter and is extremely forgiving with its hitbox. If you're near an opponent at all, then you'll land it. The cutscene hitbox extends out about one square big, and if you're outside this square, there's an outer ring that will still land within 1.5-ish squares. But it will just launch them up, dealing 20% damage instead of cutscening them. Final Hunt can only be used once, but still, it is such an amazing move. Savage Tornado does a really nice 24% damage, while also going an insane amount of distance. Really though, just look at this. It's a combo starter that allows you to true combo any of your moves. And I mean any of your moves. Brutal Beatdown, Strength Difference, and Death Blow all get true confirmed from this move. And since it true combos into any move, it effectively forces your opponent to use Ragdoll Cancel just to avoid the follow-up move. Even though this move has a cancelable startup, it really does not matter. As long as you stay out of your opponent's front dash range, then it's difficult for them to cancel it. And even though you have to stay far away from your opponent so that way they don't cancel Tornado, it doesn't matter just because how far this move travels. The startup nerfs did absolutely nothing to this move. If they want to nerf Savage Tornado, they have to decrease the distance traveled with this move. And Tornado also has amazing synergy with Brutal Beatdown. You can use Tornado to true confirm Beatdown, and then use Beatdown to true confirm Tornado. And this goes without saying, but that is extremely strong. Savage Tornado can also be death countered. 
Death Counter gives 10 seconds of almost full immunity. With a few exceptions. If someone hits you during those 10 seconds, they die. It's as simple as that. It also resets your cooldowns when used, which means you can use all four of your moves, activate Death Counter, and then use them all again. It's super ridiculous. Plus, there's no indication if Saitama has Death Counter active or not. Which means you can wait to use it. Or hell, even hold it forever, effectively stalling the matchup. But you do not heal while this move is active or while you're holding it. Twin Blade Rush is the best move in the game. Well, at least in my opinion. It's an almost unmissable 39% combo starter. It cannot be countered nor blind, and it comes out extremely quickly. You run so far with Twin Blade Rush that you can use it at a considerable distance and still land it. I mean, look at this. This is actually ridiculous. It can be used three times in one all. Its hitbox really lasts way too long. And if you somehow manage to dodge this undodgeable move, it has almost zero inlet. So when you have Sonic off, you pretty much just run away, use this move, and then be spoon-fed the win. It is so bullshit. Please nerf this. Please, I'm begging. It can also be cancelled. And death countered. Well, that's my list. Did you agree with my list? And if not, tell me what you would change on the list in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching. See ya.